Hey guys, it's Jane. Um, I'm here to do my first Booktube SFF Awards 2018 Babbles video. Um, so the topic for this week, or at least the initial topic until they've got the rest of it sorted out, is just to talk about what books you're nominating. Nominations for the awards close on February the 4th, and I'll link in the description where the nominating form is. So if you've read anything good that was newly released in 2017 in the fantasy or science fiction or generally spec fic um, area, feel free to go nominate. But this is what I'm going to nominate. There are seven categories two of which I have no plans of nominating anything in, which is the um, young adult. I have read really very little young adult last year and that's fine with me. And graphics, um, graphic works, I read very little. I don't think I read really any outside of maybe some Adventure Time comics last year. I'm not going to be nominating anything there, so that's fine. Um, there are two categories in which I'm going to be nominating one, not because I only read one thing, but there is one thing that's such a standout that I'm going to nominate it and just leave it at one nomination. So for the best debut work um, of 2017, I'm nominating Lara Elena Donnelly's Amblo, Ambalow, Amberley. I've got no idea how you say that. Every time I hear somebody mentioning it in a video, it's pronounced differently. But that's the one I'm nominating because it rocked. And for short work, I'm going to be nominating uh, Martha Wells's All Systems Red because Murderbot is everything. This is the book that I've actually successfully recommended to more people than any other book, I think, in the last year. Um, just in the last 10 days, I think I've got two new people to buy it. So... <laughs> <laughs> Yay, that's my recommendation for short work. There is one more category before we get to the big two, which is middle grade. I was super disappointed last year with the short list because I didn't like anything on it. Um, I uh, had started the year after the awards with all great, um, you know, resolution that I was going to read my middle grade so I'd have stuff to recommend and nominate. And when I went and looked back over my reading, there is nothing, there is nothing that I have read that's worth nominating new for 2017. I've not given up though, I'm scrambling. Um, I found one at my library that I'm going to have a look at, which has got good reviews, and I've ordered two from um, the Book Depository um, <laughs> hardcover, which is costing me a mint, um, that I'm hoping we'll get here that I can have a look at before the February 4 deadline. But if you have suggestions of things that I should look at for middle grade, I am all ears about that one. That is a totally open as far as I'm concerned how that's going to go. The um, big two, the big two categories are best fantasy and best science fiction and this is what I am going to be nominating for those two. For some of both of these I actually had to spend a little bit of time scratching my head. There was one that was an obvious nom for me and the second place I had to kind of toss some things up. So Fantasy, I am nominating The Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin, the third in her um, Broken Earth trilogy, which is heartbreakingly wonderful. Um, I am also going to be nominating The Ruin of Angels by Max Gladstone, which is, I think, the sixth or seventh in his um, sequence. What's it called? The... But um, and now, now, I've got to do this whole thing again, don't I? Because the nomination rules say that you can't do, that you can't nominate anything that's beyond the third thing in a series. Oh, oh, that's so heartbreaking. I'm going to have to come back to you on that one. Okay. Um, best science fiction. <laughs> Oh no! Broken brain. Okay, best science fiction um, is going to be Raven Stratagem 
uh, by Yoon Ha Lee. And that's my first nomination. And my second nomination is going to be The Rise and Fall of DODO by Neil Stevenson and Nicole Galland because it was hilarious. And I like funny. Funny does it for me. It always has and it always will. And I'm also a Neil Stevenson tragic. So there you go. That's just it. That's my nominations. I've got a couple to, I thought I only had one that I had to figure out, but now I actually have a really hard one I have to figure out again. My second place for fantasy. Oh no. <gasps> I hope you're well and I'll talk to you later. Bye.